Hello, hello, America. This is the begin. Uh, this is the beginning of a new podcast. The last one was just a uh, the pilot, basically. And this is not really going to be political. It's going to be more about either stuff about my life or stuff I just have an opinion on. But we'll we will see. We will see. This one is about my suits, jackets, and coats. I am a fine connoisseur of the old-fashioned style of clothing. Basically, stuff you would see in Piggly Blinders. Why? I just like the style. It looks so sharp. It looks good on me. First up is a suit I got at Habitats for Humanity when I went to um, uh, Florida on my vacation there. They were very cheap, like a a dollar fifty, and yes, that was the actual price. They were basically they, they were basically trying to get these off the shelves. It's pretty nice. It's a three button up one, like the old fashioned European types. It's pretty nice. You might have seen me wear it a few times on my channel. Next up is my other three button up suit. You might have seen this one. It's the one with the um, uh, American flag pin. This is the one I wore when I was on Fats and Friends uh, at Randy's too. And yeah, I looked sharp in this one. I had my I had my white hat, my red tie, my my big old trump pin. It was very nice. Again, uh, I got this when I was in Florida on my vacation. It again very cheap, but still pretty good. Okay, next up is an old-fashioned leather jacket. Something that the fans would wear, okay? It's from Jane Bonds. I don't know if that's fancy or not, but it's pretty good. I got this one at a North Dakota Boys and Girls. Pretty, pretty nice. Very, very cheap. It's a button-up slash zipper. So it has buttons and a zipper. P -p -p pretty weird. But it's still pretty nice. It's nice and thick. Hear that? That's nice and insulated. It's pretty long, but I don't mind. Next up is a old-fashioned pea coat. This one is my first ever old-fashioned coat. Probably the first one I ever bought. Again, North Dakota boys and girls. Now this one, it's like a great coat. Like the, the like those long ones from like World War One, World War Two, but it's shorter. But just like the great coat, you can fold up the lapels and just button the, button them up, so you can stay nice and warm. I mean, hear that? Nice and thick wool, but the buttons have anchors on them. So I'm thinking it might be for the navy. You know, back when they had style. Okay, the next one is another leather jacket. But it's just a simple zipper one, so yeah. This one feels more rugged. It feels more tested. More, as they say, weather beaten. It's from Vintage Leather. Don't know if that's high class or not. I paid like Probably like $14.99 at least for at again North Dakota Boys and Girls. And no, I am not sponsored by them yet. It's pretty nice. I haven't worn it yet. I just bought it. But it, it this one looks more like what they would wear in the 50s. Like those, um, what, 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 what do they call them? Um, greasers or whatever. Now this one I bought uh, just a month ago. It's like those old-fashioned long single-breasted coats, but with the buttons covered. Kind of like what they wore in the Great War, you know, World War One. you know, trying to sh cover the buttons. It almost looks like something Joseph Stalin would, would wear, almost. It's pretty nice. The buttons are very loose, but it just needs some love and care. That's all these things need, just some love and care. It's not that that thick, so I might just wear this, say, maybe for a skit or something like that. It's pretty long. It goes past the knees. I uh, like that. I uh, like that. 
it's almost like a, a field grey, like, you know, if you know these military types, you know, a field grey uniform. Okay, I got this out of Glen, North Dakota Bars and Grills, yada yada yada, not that expensive. Next one I really love is a London Fog trench coat, a original London Fog trench coat. London, Baltimore, New York. That's just the that's just on the on the thing. This one looks like something from well, I think you remember McGruff the Crime Dog. It kind of looks like his trench coat. It's the double breasted, and again, you can fold up the lapels to button it up to keep you warm. But this one is more just to keep you dry. Because it's not like those old fashioned World War II leather ones that the Germans wore. These ones were made specifically just to keep you dry, not, not re really warm. It's, like, it's kind of khaki, it's ha it has that khaki color. And the belt, it's pretty weird, but I still like it. I then North Dakota Bars and Girls, like twenty nine nine, like twenty nine ninety nine. Not that bad, not that bad. I ha I haven't worn it out in public yet. I I, I don't think so. But pretty nice. <sighs> and my next one is probably my best one yet. It's an old-fashioned black overcoat. Wool, outside, polyester inside. It's pretty nice. It's almost like the one that Trump wears when he does rallies out in you know, when it's cold outside. It, it's pretty nice. I. It's probably the best one I have. It's. I bought this one at a North Dakota Boys and Girls for maybe I don't know. I bought this like a year ago. It's been so long, but. You might have seen that in my campaign videos. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to advertise. I'm just explaining where you might have seen this. It has a American eagle pin and a golden leaf pin. It's pretty nice. It's a, it, it's about um uh, knee length. Might go past the knee. I, I I like coats that go past the knee because it, it it it's it's just the style. I love it. Now this one is probably one of the first suits I ever had. It's a eggshell white single breasted suit. You might have seen me wear it. It's the only one, it's the only like eggshell I have. The uh, American flag pin and the cross, it's pretty nice. It, it's pretty wrinkly, wrinkly on the back. But it's more like my relaxation suit. You know, something you wear casually. You know, business casual. I, I, I like it. The, the, the um, collar on it is pretty, well, it needs to be dry cleaned, but then again, it's just for me to relax and say I'm just going to the store, nothing too fancy, but yeah, I, I still like this one. Now this one you might have seen in my recent video for the Hans Guggenberg saga, you know, for Senator Mumbles, you know, me, 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 it's the, it's like the, I I keep forgetting what these are. It's like it's double breasted, but the only button you really button up is the one on the very very bottom. It has like the big lapels, but no but no um slot for any pins in the lapels. It's pretty nice. Again, I got this. Well, no, I got this at, at a Savers. I. Th I think it was at a, a Savers, the one behind probably the the mall. I I still like it. I, I haven't worn it. I haven't worn this in public yet, but I might. It has a front pocket, but on the right side. All of the suits I have, it has a like a pocket on the left side. So, yeah, I I do like all types of suits. You have to understand that. And the next one is going to be a double-breasted um, leather jacket. It almost looks like the ones that the Germans wore in World War II, but it only goes up to the knee. It's not that long. You might have seen me wear it in one of my skits. 
you know, as the detective, no, not the detective, but like the chief for the Who Shot Hans Gutenberg um, side of the thing I'm doing. It's, it's it's pretty nice. I got this at once again, North Dakota boys and girls. And again, I am not sponsored by them. I just like going to their stores. They have nice stuff for a cheap price. But this one is pretty nice. It had that um, the old fashioned leather strap belt. Like it, it had no buckle. It was the type that you had to wrap around your your waist. But I'm a bit chubby, <laughs> so yeah. But I still liked it. It it was it wasn't that expensive. Like in the twenties, it's not that bad. Now the next one, it, it's a regular suit, but it's made out of wool, so it's nice and cozy. It's single-breasted, not that bad. It's pro- I got this at probably a Savers or probably another North Dakota boys and girls, probably for cheap, probably like sixteen ninety-nine. It's it's not that bad. It was made in Nicaragua. Just gonna say that. It's nothing too special. I used to wear this one a lot before I got my wool overcoat. The one with the American Eagle pin, you know, because it, it, it's wool. I, I, I have to keep warm during these cold North Dakota winters. Now this one, it's more of a fancy suit. It's white, pure white, but the lining inside is eggshell. Don't know why. I don't wear this one much because, you know, don't wear white after Labor Day. But then again, isn't every day after Labor Day? Technically, every day, no matter what, is always after Labor Day. But anyways, I got this at Haberstats. Why Haberstats? Well, I had a gift card, you know, Christmas time. I get a gift card to Haberstats. I spent it. It's, it's, not, it's nothing too special. I might wear this. When, you know, after November 5th, if you know what I mean. <laughs> eh. Okay, now the next one is some Haberstats again. I bought this maybe two years ago. Again, I got another gift card to Haberstats for Christmas. Or maybe it was, it was my birthday, I don't remember. But this one is a pure white suit, both inside and out. It's like the one that Harry Truman wore, but it, it came with a suit, a vest, and pants, so I got a three-piece suit, hot diggly dog! Yeah, I have not worn this yet, I'm waiting for the perfect time. Say like a fancy gala with champagne and wine and cherries, mm, yes! <laughs> I, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. It's still in like that weird thing they have. It's almost like something that the dry cleaners have, you know, to protect it. Next up is just a plain, simple black suit. Nothing special. It's just a single-breasted, two buttons, polyester, black, solid black, nothing too special, but it's standard. Like something that Trump would wear, or, or, or something that a uh, that your average politician would wear. Very bland, very basic, but I still like it. It's more again, it's more of a casual suit. There's no flags on it. It's just casual, which you know that's not that's not bad either. Now this one is the last one for now. It's a old, it's not really old fashioned, but it looks old fashioned. It's a dark gray, double breasted overcoat, but it's the type where it goes above the knee, not below the knee. It's, it's one of those newer ones, you know, where all the coats are above the knee. I don't like that. It does not look, it does not look authentic. It looks kind of modern, and I'm, well, I have my opinions on modern clothing. But that's for another video. This one is pretty standard. It's nothing that special. I, I don't wear that much. I think I wore that probably for a, another slit I, I might do. It's nothing that special. 
And it's made from it's made from China, so I try not to wear it. It's eh, it's not that good, but beggars can't be choosers. Well, America, that's it. That's all of my suits, jackets, and coats. Now, you might have noticed a trend here. All of them are old-fashioned. Why is that? Simple. I just love the style. I love the look of it. I just love the old-fashioned 1920s, 1930s, 1940s look. Maybe even 1950s. Why, I just do. It's not really because of Peaky Blinders. I used to dress like that even before I watched that show. The show only enhanced my love of the old-fashioned 1920s look. But I think some of this is because I am an old soul. I am an old soul. Even when I was a teenager, whenever I used to talk to old people at the nursing home because, you know, I once had a grandfather, you know, Papa Patoni, rest in peace Papa Tony. But whenever I used to talk with, with the old people, they would always say, you know, you don't act your age, you act like an old soul. And I, and I am an old soul. I am not part of this Gen Z crowd. I am part of Gen Z. I was born after 2000, during a certain event. You know, I'm not gonna say what. But yes, I grew up. Af I I was born after 2000. I was raised in in Detroit, Michigan. But I don't act like I'm Gen Z. I don't really act like I'm part of that crowd. I, as you can see, I don't really sound like Gen Z. For example, I don't use words like stibbity. I don't use words like viz or poggers. Those are not in my vocabulary. But I do have to say this. Whenever I do go out dress like I'm a mob boss from like the 1920s or 1930s, I get a lot of compliments from everyone really. White, black, Asian, maybe even a, maybe a, even a Filipino here and there. <laughs> but I always get the most exaggerated compliments from the black people. Turns out, yes, the black people are very kind people. There's just a few bad eggs in there. Same with white people. They, they, they have their pros and they have their cons. Deal with it. But whenever a black man sees me, sometimes, when, I, when, when, when a black man sees me, they, you know, wearing my nice suit or my nice coat, wearing my nice fedora and, and, and my nice dress pants and dress shoes, they say, boy, you is bowling. Or they say, boy, you is a player. Or they say, boy, you are the thing. Like, like you, you know what I mean, like very exaggerated. But that is just the black man. The black woman say something along the lines of, boy, you got them whiz. I don't know what Viz means. Or they say something about, Can you be my sugar daddy? I... <laughs> the things these women say is so funny. <laughs> it's so hilarious, but I'm not bashing them. I'm just stating that I look so bloody good that, that they have to announce that to the entire crowd next to us. They love me in a suit. Why? Because they are classy at times. I don't mind them. I... I don't care what, what people think. I dress how I want to dress. I don't care if I look like an old fogey. I don't care if I dress like an old fart. I, I don't care. 
In fact, I think that makes me more original. Think about it. Typical Gen Z men, not all of them, just the stereotypical ones. Like Jack Dorothy. He is the prime example of the stereotypical Gen Z male. Have you seen this Pratt? Have you seen this Doc? Less jackass. He dresses like he's still in preschool, and so then he acts like he's still in preschool, okay? I dress like I am the president of the United States, not the current one. I'm, I'm not like so Biden. I dress like I'm a mob boss. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Don't piss me off, see? Yeah. Or something like that. I dress like I am from the 30s and so on and so forth. But because of that, I get respect, but I also get love. I get people's love. Because no one would want to love Judd Dorothy. He gets no bitches. I get all these compliments, and I, I get all of these handshakes because I dress like I am the boss. Because I am the boss. But other than that, I also have other things that make me not part of the Gen Z crowd. I don't have these weird ear piercings, like these weird hoop things. I don't have any piercings. I don't dye my hair blue or green or red or brown. I don't have these weird tongue piercings. I don't have tattoos all over my body, like a, like one of those Japanese mouthy. I, I don't look like a Yakuza. Thank God for that. But I also... I also eat differently that makes me an old person at heart. For example, the typical Gen Z person, what do you think, what do you think they drink on the daily basis? That red hot nacho cheese Mountain Dew stuff that has all these ingredients that look like they're from the Perry at a table? I drink simple basic stuff. Coffee, water, orange juice, milk. That's it. I'm not part of this, uh, this trendy crowd where I have to drink every new bloody energy drink. That's all Gen Z drinks. Energy drinks and Tostitos. I don't understand. I, I don't, or Tatties. That weird spicy chip thing. I, I don't care about that. But this is off topic, but I'm just... I'm not complaining or arguing. I'm explaining why I'm different from the typical Gen Z. You know, the stereotypical Gen Z. Again, shot coffee. I don't really mind that. I like the way I am. I like the way I dress. And there's nothing wrong with just being you. But thank God I am not ja I am not Jack Dorf. Okay, thank God, thank God I am not like him. Please be lowly, lowly to all the angels above and to the Virgin Mary and my brother Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord I am not like Jack Dorothy. Amen. But to end this podcast episode, which style do you like? Do you like the do you like the simple suit? Do you like the overcoat? Or do you like the leather jacket? Please leave your comment below. Bye bye.